hey everyone welcome back to barber city it's your girl christy and before we get into it make sure your post notifications are on and you're subscribed to this channel okay i run my mouth a lot and i need y'all here with me okay i need someone to listen with that being said, also follow me on Twitter at The Real Barb City and Instagram at Barb City Pink Print. You guys, did you guys see what Armand Wiggins had to say about um, Cardi yesterday on Twitter? He basically said that um, Cardi B does not have the face to go with her career okay i kind of feel like the video was a setup so i'm not gonna post the video but you guys this is a clip of the video as you guys can see he has little kim cardi b and Nicki minaj okay and he basically said okay little kim she has the look okay like the way she dresses and just the mug okay he basically said she got the mug or whatever all right. And then he got to Nikki and he's like, he got, she got the face. Obviously he tried to play down Nikki and say, but she don't have the look all the way, but she has the face. Okay. Cardi B, he says she has the look, but she just don't got the mug. She don't got the face. Okay. So with that being said, I don't know if Cardi's check is late allegedly or what Armand's feeling. Okay. But obviously he's throwing shade at his girl again. So maybe there's trouble over there in brother and sister paradise. I'm not really sure, but it was really funny. A lot of people tuned in and some of them of course, saying things like, and she remains friends with this man who blatantly called her face not it. This is why Cardi pays him dust now. She ain't faced like that. And they put the horse, y'all. That had me weak. Anyways, Armand Wiggins also tweeted, you're going to have to sing your best fighter for the queen. I am Cardi B. She going to run through the whole army. Are you ready? So he also deleted that, um, obviously, because she's not going to be running through anything. So with that being said, you guys, it's just funny to me because Armand does this so often, right? Every now and then he'll shake Cardi B, but yet he's supposed to be this Cardi B stan that we all know was once a Nicki Minaj fan. So whatever, if they call it friendship, that just shows how, you know, how they are, the type of people they are, but moving right on along. Now, I know you guys, I know I said I wasn't going to give Azalea Blanks my platform, but I just want to give it to her just for a moment because I want to show everyone why we shouldn't listen to Azalea Banks. She literally has a problem, right? At one minute, she's at Cardi B's next. The next minute, she's at Nicki Minaj's neck. The next minute, she's back at Cardi B's neck. It's like whoever is like, I don't know what it is. She's like a leech, right? Like just a, just a blood sucking. No, just let me stop before YouTube. Um, anyway, so with that being said, Azalea Banks had a lot to say today on her story, and here it is. Oh, this is Azalea Banks. I am here in Home Depot to tell all you fucking rap bitches that y'all some fucking chicken head ass fucking bitches. The fact that, the fact that this bitch that would not give a fuck about you on any other fucking day, would never collab with you, never share her platform with you. Is making you, making all you bitches risk your own fucking platforms, your own fucking shit, like your own reputations to do her dirty work that this pussy ass bitch is too scared to fucking do. All of y'all bitches look stupid and y'all bitches are some doja ass fucking bitches. Some doja ass fucking bitches. Y'all bitches, each and every one of y'all. Each and every one of y'all. Now, I hold myself in high esteem. Because I'm more than a fucking female rapper. I'm a fucking talented musician. I would never fucking mention any of you dumb. 
And what's the saddest part about it is that a lot of y'all bitches for a long time, y'all was in Cardi phase like, oh, we like you, we like you. I came straight out the gate asking niggas in hip hop like, um, excuse me, okay, like, okay, I've been talking shit and y'all calling me menti- mentally ill, but this bitch is saying the same fucking shit and y'all giving her all the fucking credit. It turned into a beat from there, but in the very beginning, I always supported fucking Cardi B. I was always like, yo, that's my, like, little, like, Spanish mommy, like, homegirl from fucking, like, you know, middle school. Like, I, 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 nigga, I'm from fucking Washington Heights, like, right there on the border, like, Washington Heights and Harlem. Like, I know that girl. I know so many girls like her. And the fact that all y'all bitches is letting y'all, like, Spanish girl jealousy fly right now is so fucking dusty. And Cardi, come on, come on. Stop taking the fucking bait. Stop taking the bait. You did shit that, like, niggas in rap can't even fucking do. Like, you're like, like you got a diamond single. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? This bitch had to, this bitch has been in the game how, ma- how many fucking years and she had to share her first Grammy. That's why she's fucking mad. She's fucking mad. She's mad because she lost. Let her take that L and you. Imagine being in your neighborhood Home Depot saying that you are a queen of rap, rap, whatever, rap girl, whatever. And nobody's like, Azalea, Azalea, let me get a picture. Azalea, Azalea, let me get a signature. Azalea, hold on, Azalea, come here. Like, imagine that. Now, let me remind you guys. So, Nicki Minaj lost. Okay, mind you, this was in 2022. This was this year that everybody was just losing their heads for Nicki Minaj. It was also this year that everybody was just singing her whole concert word for word a cappella with her okay they literally take over every one of her performances okay meanwhile she lost and she was just awarded the michael jackson vanguard award okay with other awards as well also super freaky girl is still charting i'm wondering what are you talking about You've been sounding really thirsty lately for that Cardi B collaboration. It seems like you've been throwing a lot of shade ever since all this drama drama been really active. But let's remind you of some things that you've said about Cardi B. Okay, this reading. She added, spinning for this culture story when they are simply letting white men and Atlantic buy them into hating their own women. Banks went on to say that Cardi B who is of Trinidadian and Dominican descent, was only black when black wanted to include themselves in a success story. Going on to tweet, I wanted spicy Latina and she gave me poor man's Nicki Minaj. So I'm just like, what is the market share of the female rap? And for a very long time, these other music industry execs have been trying to push their female rap products through. Nicki Minaj was just not letting these other corporate white guys get a piece of her pie. So they made Cardi B and launched her. It's not a theory, it's the truth. They made her and launched her on Nicki. And that's just because of this greater, like, greater white male, like, corporate part to the music industry that's just not gonna let they're just not gonna let a black girl have any sort of like power you know nikki had too much like like the power the female rap power was too centralized in one spot they had to launch something on her to break that up a complete market share of the female rap and Meanwhile, Cardi B probably sits at home like, yeah, tell her, yeah, I won, yeah, like, girl, (laughs) 
you guys. I'm sorry. I'm just playing. But no, I'm serious. Like Azalea Banks is just, she's really ill. Okay. It's just like, she really needs attention. It must be time for her rent. Okay. She must really need the views. It's ridiculous. Okay. Imagine talking about someone who's literally a star saying that they lost and you're freely walking through the Home Depot, okay? Other people saying, I'm actually crying because why did she bring these JC Penny antics into Home Depot, OMG? With no security, no fans trying to get autographs, just a plain Jane with new makeup. She had to say her name at the beginning of the video so people would know who she was. When people wasn't effing, or excuse me, want to be different so bad. When people wasn't effing with Nikki, she want to F with Nikki. When people not effing with Cardi, she want to F with Cardi. It's weird. I just find it so effing funny how Azalea Banks has said foul stuff about everybody's fave, but y'all only gag when she's talking about Nicki Minaj. You guys are hypocrites and would suck. Oh, we're going to pass that. <laughs> um, Azalea B. Rabied. I just watched her screen recording herself in a story raving like a lunatic. Talking about queen of rap and not one staff there knows who you are. Not one fan following you just to see you or have a pic. Girl, sit down. Stop, make, stop moving mad. At this point, the joke writes themselves so you guys this might not have been the attention that azalea banks was looking for but i just want to point out if Nicki minaj was to respond you guys would be calling her a bully you guys would be calling her bitter you guys would be saying oh she doesn't want to get along with none of the new rap girls no these new rap girls are disrespecting Nicki minaj okay She's been in the game 15 years. There's no reason why people's fan bases should be talking about, oh, you've been in the game 15 years. You're washed up. Like being in the game 15 years and still being successful the way Nicki Minaj is, is a wonderful thing. And you guys are putting it down just because there's more rap girls in the game now. Like you guys are basically saying it's Nicki Minaj's fault that she was running the game for 15 years. OK, it's not her fault that nobody else could come and rain on her parade. She was making it happen without them. <laughs> Imagine that, you guys, like Nicki Minaj, like I said, has been quiet. Now, all of a sudden, since her fan base wants to start talking and wants to start participating and having a good time in the drama, now it's a problem, okay? That's my thing. Cardi B making a post like, oh, uh, the barbs are always underneath my post every time I post. They're the first ones there before my fans. Like, girl, you know your fans do the same thing to Nicki Minaj, okay? Just like Meg the Stallion fans, they do the same thing to Nicki Minaj. Like, stop the one-weighted, or the one-weighted, the one-sided crap. Seriously, the double standards, okay? Everybody mad because the barbs are this, the barbs are that. We've been quiet. The queen has been quiet. Now, all of a sudden, we active. Now, all of a sudden, everybody tired. Everybody want to go take a nap. No, wake the up. That being said, let's go ahead and clear this up with one person saying, Nikki have feud with Remy Ma, Lil' Kim, Iggy Azalea, Cardi B, one-sided beef with Megan and Lotto. Come on now, you're being really delusional saying the one-sided one beef with Megan. And come on now, stop, okay? Um, there's no way those ladies could all have been the problem. Nikki has an agenda of hating her fellow whatevers. Anyways, and then someone responded and said, Cardi B has had feud with Nicki Minaj, Azalea, Cuban Doll, Akbar, JT, Malibu Mitch, Lady Lashur, and more. There's no way those ladies all could have been the problem. 
Cardi has an agenda of hating on black women because she desperately wants to be one and needs sympathy to succeed, okay? With that being said, can we go ahead and point out the fact that Azalea Banks has had one of her new songs pinned on her Twitter and it was only retweeted 42 times with 109 likes. And she also has a little over 6,000 followers on Twitter and not even 100,000 on Instagram. Before we get up out of here, you guys, let's just point out the fact that Nikki knows how to gag, okay? During yesterday or the day before his feud, as we all know, they were in the whole profile changing thing on Twitter and Nicki Minaj posted JT, Cardi B got mad, posted Remy Ma, Nicki Minaj posted this and, and blocked out the I and Nicki and put a pin, okay? With that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks!